Uh, this is the Black Agenda Morning Shot for Monday, September 13th, being brought to you by Kali Akuno, reporting to you live from Chicago, Illinois, on Sunday, September 12th. I'm here with J.R. Fleming with the Chicago Anti-Eviction Campaign. And uh, just a, a question for J.R., uh, and just so some to the, to the folks know, since August, over 100 black youth have been shot uh, as a result of street trial warfare in Chicago. And over the course of that time, several police officers have been shot and killed, which has prompted the state, the city, and the federal government agencies to launch uh, a new offensive against the street tribes in Chicago, declaring them urban terrorists. And so what I'm asking Jay also he can tell the, the, the world to know, basically, um, what are the underlying sources of this war? And what do you think we need to do to unite our youth at the end of this war? Definitely, um, we feel that the underlying, underlying, the underlying source of this war is the economic and uh, urban cleansing policies uh, that the United States government has instituted in our communities uh, under the name gentrification, uh, forcing people out of their communities, um, as, as you see, forceful eviction in Sudan, Darfur, even in um, Kosovo. Um, these forceful evictions have led to conflicts of classes, conflict of different communities, conflict of different tribes. Um, one of the issues that we feel that really should be out there in the world is that um, this violence is directly connected to the gentrification and the um, urban renewal policy set forth by this government. Um, our, our children are at risk. They represent our future, so that means our future is at risk. These are not gang members, these are not urban terrorists, these are child soldiers, uh, people who are living in oppressed communities who lack economic, social, and cultural resources. Um, and out of this, because they lack this, um, comes um, what you'll find in any country, um, um, destabilizing a, a, of a community, um, the lack of security in the community, um, the lack of hope in the community. And all this is, has a direct connection to the policies um, that they set forth out of Washington, D.C. Some might argue that these children are gang members. We say these are child soldiers who should be protected under the United Nations Convention of the Rights of the Child. So, what do you think in terms of, you know, what do we need to do to, to, to have our children recognized as child soldiers? And what do we need to do to start protecting them as such? Well, I definitely think we need to institute some um, international guiding principles. Um, the United Nations should be forcing the American to take precautionary measures. We're asking that the UN Special Rapporteur on Convention of the Rights of the Child come in because by our government on a mission, federal government, um, the head of the FBI said that every program they tried in America has worked with the exception of Chicago where a lot of this violence against the youth is taking place. And because of the corruption that plays Chicago, you can't get a real clear answer on what the government is going to do to resolve this. So we asked the United Nations to step in, send an international observer um, to come here and to take a look at this violence in Chicago that's being called by these uh, policies that's creating legislative genocide. So how can folks get in contact with you to, to support you in this initiative? And we're asking all um, NGO organizations in America, um, all non-for-profits to come together in the name of our community um, um, to try to stop these children um, for participating in these economic um, wars um, caused by our government. I know we can be reached at um, antivision.org, iamcabrini at gmail.com. Um, come to Chicago. Um, this is a cry out for help. You know, um, when, when, when the people can't address the issue, when the police can't address the issue, when government can't address the issue, it's time that somebody look at this issue. And we're, we're asking the United Nations really to come in and intervene. All right. This is Kali Akuno bringing you some news that you can use from Chicago. Uh, definitely get in contact with the Chicago Anti-Eviction Campaign and for more information uh, to support that campaign and to you know deal with the, the human rights issues. Get in contact with the U.S. Human Rights Network at ushumanrightsnetwork.org.